They begin in clouds of dust and gas so far away that we would need 100,000 years to reach them. Gravity gathers hydrogen gas and particles of dust, and the clouds grow more dense. Squeezed tighter, the hydrogen heats up to a fantastic 10 million degrees Celsius. Nuclear fusion turns hydrogen into helium, and the fire ignites. A star is born. Astronomer Michael Schara compares a star's life cycle to our own. Stars are born, uh, age, evolve, and eventually die, just like people. They have a regular life cycle. During the entire life of any star, there is this delicate balancing act, because gravity is always at work trying to crunch the star down into a, a small point, and the high internal pressures are trying to blow the star up and blow it apart. Of course, a star may live for billions of years, and stellar age has nothing to do with lifestyle or heredity. It's all about size. Smaller stars burn cool and dim. When their fuel burns out, they just fade away. A medium star, like our sun, will burn steadily for some 10 billion years. But when it finally runs out of hydrogen fuel and gravity grips the core harder, the star grows hotter and the outer layers puff up, engulfing nearby planets in its fiery demise. Finally, the outer layers blow off into space and a dense solid core remains. This white dwarf is a dying star. A bigger star, say twice the weight of our sun, lives hot and dies young. It burns through its fuel in just millions of years, and it doesn't go quietly. There's more material here for gravity to constrict. The star goes out with a bang called a supernova. Gravity packs the remains into material far denser than white dwarfs, called neutron stars. A teaspoonful of this stardust weighs more than a cruise ship packed with people. Some enormous stars that have gone supernova become so dense they turn into black holes. Think about it. A massive explosion leaves gravity unchecked and matter is squeezed into something unseeable, stretching for miles and weighing incomprehensible amounts. Got it? Invisible but deadly, pulling in matter all around it. Even light can't escape. Not to worry, supernovas are rare. A galaxy like ours, of 100 million stars, may experience only one exploding star in a century. <laughs>